Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Jill here with Go English Coach. So what I have on the board behind me are 18 verbs. I've got three categories in each with each verb. So we've got the base verb. I've got the simple present third person. Okay, because in the simple present, we don't really change much except in that third person. And then I've got the participle category. Does that make sense? The participle is the ing form. And the reason that we call it the participle is because it's not the full verb, right? The full verb is the form of to be plus the participle, which is just the ing. Lots of very in important words here. <laughs> so let's start with our first one. The verb is answer. Answer. That's the base form of the verb. Okay. Um, let's just go down the list here. So if my uh, simple present third person is asks, that one's a very tricky one to say. You guys should practice that because you've got asks, asks. Uh, it's it's s k s at the end, and that can be very tricky for people. It's it's tricky for native speakers, just so you know. So the base form of this we're going to put here is ask, simply ask. Okay, so we're kind of working backwards to work into what the base is. Okay, so the participle here is coming, c o m i n g. What is our base? So we're practicing working backwards to find out what the base is and then also the spelling, making sure that we're getting the spelling correct. Coming. So the base form of that verb is come, C-O-M-E, with that silent E at the end. So then remember the rule about verbs with the silent E at the end. When you make it into the participle form, you drop the E and you add I-N-G, okay? Okay. So this uh, simple present third person of this, the pronunciation is does, okay? The verb is do. All right, we've got eat, so that one's already done for us. The participle of this verb is employing, employing. So you guys in this advanced class get a little higher level verbs here. So to employ is like to hire somebody. So if you say, I employ two other teachers, that means I'm the boss and I gave a job to those people. I employ them, okay? Flying for the participle here, the verb is fly. And then we've got forget. We've got a lot of them in this base column here. So we've got has in this, uh, the, the third person's, uh, Simple present, oh my gosh. The verb is have. This is one of those irregular ones. So some of the other very common irregular ones are like do and go, right? So for go, we say goes, and for do, we say does. Remember the pronunciation of those. Goes and does, okay? If you haven't, um, Taking a look at my pronunciation course, that's a really helpful thing when we start talking about the International Phonetic Alphabet. I use it a lot in all of my classes. So um, getting a head start or a jump start on that and getting really um, dialed with that is, is super helpful in all of your language learning. Okay, let's look at 12 here. The participle is lying, okay, lying. Look what happened here. That's the verb to lie, means to not tell the truth, okay? To lie, and then it changes to L-Y-I-N-G. Again, that'll happen down here. So keep, pay attention to what's happening here. Okay, the simple present third person of this verb is says. Again, with the pronunciation there is eh. Says, not says, it says. That's the pronunciation. Okay, the verb in the base form is say. And then the final one here, this participle is controlling. It's got the double L there. So what do you guys think? Control. Do you think it has two L's at the end or just one? Just the one, okay? So it's got that CVC, remember that rule that we talked about last week? 
CVC at the end, the consonant, vowel, consonant. And so we double that one. All right, let's grab the blue marker and we're gonna go through the third person singular in the simple present. Okay, so our base verb here is answer. Our simple present third person is simply answers. Okay, answers. Okay, buy goes to buys. What are we doing here? Comes. So z sound here. Does, we already got that one. Eat goes to eats. Okay, employ. Nothing tricky here, just simply employs. What happens here? Fly, it has a Y at the end. So we're going to change that to uh, Y goes to I E S. Okay. The CVC, remember, we're going to double final consonant. Okay. Forget goes to forgets. Okay. Forgets. All right, let's keep going on this second part here. Hurry has a Y, so we're gonna employ this one here. Hurries, I-E-S. Lie goes to lies, right? He lies all the time, okay? <laughs> open goes to opens. Rain goes to rains. Reach. This one isn't irregular, right? So if it's got CH, SH, X, or Z, what happens there? We use ES, right? Okay, so reach, reaches. So we've got, instead of just S, we use the ES, and the pronunciation is a little different. So reigns, ns, reaches reaches okay so it's you can actually hear that there's a eh in the middle there reaches okay tie goes to ties and control controls okay so we've got a couple of our little notes over here just to kind of help you guys remember all right let's finish this part up and do the green part so we're doing the participle the ing participle okay so this is where we're gonna add the ing, okay? So, and remember the full verb contains is coming, it is raining, I am controlling, okay? Those, that's the full part. That's why this is just the participle. So don't, you know, don't forget you guys when you are using this verb to include the form of to be. That's a critical, critical part of this, um, of this tense, the, the present progressive, okay? And a lot of people um, don't use it. All right, so answer is going to be answering, asks, asking, buys, buying, okay? I am buying a new house. Um, do, does, and then doing. So just simply adding ing onto there. We've got employing, flying, um, okay, and then we've got forgetting. Have goes to having, so we're going to drop that ing, or excuse me, we're going to drop the e and add ing, okay? Hurry, hurrying. What are we going to do here? Hurrying. I am hurrying. I'm moving quickly, okay? I'm hurrying. Opening, there's so many just rules and then exceptions in English. Sometimes I will say many times um, people make spelling mistakes in English. It's raining today. It's raining. She is reaching to get her jacket or whatever. She is, it is saying, maybe I'm talking about my computer. It is saying that the weather is going to be cold today. It is saying, okay, tying, tying. So remember from above, I am tying my shoes. And then the final one is controlling with that double L. Okay, 
Wonderful. So if you guys want to take a minute and take a little screenshot of that, that might not be a bad idea.